Hello, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I will be showing how to download a zip from the internet, extract the image files from it, and show it in a list in the UI. Okay, let's start. So the first thing is I'm going to show the path of the zip file that we are going to download using Flutter. So let me type in the full path. So that's a complete path. So let me show the contents inside the zip. So I'm going to extract it. So we have five images. We are going to download this zip file using Flutter, extract it and show these images in a list in the UI. All right. So the first thing we need is the plugins. The first one is a HTTP plugin to download the file. Second one is the path provider to get the uh, documents directory in the device. And third one is the archive to actually extract the zip file that is downloaded. Okay, I'll be providing the link in the description. So let me import the necessary files. Okay, now let's declare some variables. The first one is a boolean downloading to track the download. Second one is a directory to save the directory path. The third one is a list of strings to save the images path. The fourth one is the actual URL of the zip file. And the next one is the local zip file path. That is the local name for the downloaded zip file. Now let me initialize these variables. So images is a new list and temporary images is also a new list. Downloading is set to false. And let's initialize the directory. For that I'm going to write a new function. There we are going to check if the variable directory is null. Then we are going to initialize it. So call await get application documents directory and get the path. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we will write a function to download the zip file. So download file, pass in the URL and the file name. So this is an asynchronous function. So our request is equal to await HTTP dot client dot get and pass in the URL. Okay. Now the file is equal to a new file and append the directory with the file name. Okay. And return file dot write as bytes and pass in the request dot body files. Now we will write another function to call the download file function and extract the zip file. So download zip. So this is also an asynchronous function and set the downloading to true. Okay. Now clear the images list and also the temp images and var zip file equal to await download file and pass in our uh, images uh, zip file URL and the local zip file name and we are going to call a function unarchive and save so let's write that unarchive and save so this is an asynchronous function and var bytes is equal to zip file dot read as byte sync so we have the bytes now now var archive is equal to so let's create a new zip decoder and decode those bytes okay now let's look through the archive var file name is equal to let's append the file name with the directory so file dot name and let's check if it is a file so if it is a file we are going to uh, save this file in the device documents directory so let me print out the path so our file dot path and 
we will add each path to the temporary images list. So await out file dot create proceed to true and await out file dot write write as bytes with the contents. All right. So now we have extracted all the files from the zip and saved it in the device's documents directory. So called set state on the images list with the temporary images and set the downloading to false. Now let's create the list. So for that I'm going to write a function build list. It will return an expanded widget with the child listview.builder item count images.length and item builder will have a build context and an index. So I'm going to return just an image. So load the image from the file. So we have the path in the images array. Okay. And fit to box fit dot fit width so that it will fit the device width. Now I'm going to add a progress in the app bar to show the download progress. The progress function will return a container with a circular progress indicator. So let's set the padding and the child is a circular progress indicator with a stroke width of 3.0 and the value color set it to always stopped animation and pass in the color. So I am setting it to white. So let's add the progress in the app bar. So actions and if it is downloading I am going to show the progress otherwise an empty container. I am going to add a download icon next to the progress. So the icon will be icon start file download and on press of the button we are going to call the download zip function. So download zip. Okay, let's restart the app. So we have the icon now. Let's add the list as well. Build list. So let me restart the app again. Okay, click on the icon. Okay, the images are downloaded and extracted now. Okay, so we have logged the path. So let me click on that path. Okay, so you can see the image. Now we will go to the Excel folder. So let me copy that and go to Finder and go to Folder. Okay. So that's the actual folder inside the simulator where the file has been downloaded. So you can see that we have the images.zip and the extracted files. So let's try that once more. So let me delete all those. And I'll keep the folder and the simulator side by side. And I restarted the app. Click the download button. So you can see that the images.zip has been downloaded extracted and then it is shown in the UI. So that's how we can download a zip file in Flutter and extract it. So that's all in this video. If you like the video please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Also please leave your valuable comments below in the comment box. And thanks for watching.